The repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell already passed in the House this year, which means it is up to the Senate and the Senate alone to finally do away with this 17-year law if it's going to be done away with. Joining us now to discuss this green means go moment on the repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell is Senator Mark Udall from the great state of Colorado. He serves on the Senate Armed Services Committee. Senator, welcome to the show. Thanks for being with us. Thanks, Rachel. Thanks for acknowledging that Colorado is a great state. And by the way, there is a green light. We're going to see that green light displayed even more on Thursday and Friday when the Armed Services Committees hold hearings and hear from the Secretary of Defense and hear from the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs and hear from the Service Chiefs themselves. So this is an important moment, as you know. Senator, what are you expecting from those hearings in terms of uh, focal points of those hearings, both for people who are proponents of repealing the policy and proponents of keeping it? Well, I expect to hear from some who are implacably opposed, reasons to continue to be opposed, and you outlined a couple of them in your, your lead into the story. But I'm hopeful that some who, as you also listed, as being open to what the study would show and demonstrate will, will come to uh, the hearings with an open mind and decide then to support uh, moving forward in the last few weeks of this Congress. If we don't get this done now, and you, you know this, uh, I fear that it'll be a number of years until we actually have a statutory repeal. And the, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs and the Secretary of Defense are saying they want to do this now because they want clarity. They also know this is about national security. That's long been my point of view, that we want to lift this outdated policy because we're in two wars. We've discharged over 14,000 patriotic Americans. And in the end, this is about civil rights, but it's also about our national security. Th those are two very, very important uh, elements in why this policy needs to be repealed. Senator, are there any people, any members of the Senate who have previously uh, voted no on this matter, um, voted not to repeal, either for some procedural reason or because they were opposed to repealing the policy, who you know may be changing their votes, uh, people who we should look to as possible flips on this? Well, I think we ought to look to Senators Brown of Massachusetts and Senator Collins of Maine, who both in the committee supported the repeal of uh, Don't Ask, Don't Tell. We should also look to Senator Webb, who really wanted to see the study. And I can tell you that uh, Senator Graham is always open-minded, and I take seriously uh, and on its face value what he said about wanting to see uh, the studies and, and the results therein. Senator Graham, of course, is a reservist. He does a couple of weeks of duty every year. Uh, and as I've said, he's been uh, very open in the past to uh, looking at uh, matters like this from all sides and doing what's right. So those are some centers, but there, there are a number of other ones that you mentioned in your lead-in as well. Are, are you aware of lobbying efforts among Democrats to try to wrap up every Democratic vote, not just Jim Webb, but also Blanche Lincoln and, and Mark Pryor? Are you, are you aware of the White House is, for example, lobbying any senators? There are certainly a lot of quiet conversations. Uh, there aren't any, any uh, baldly public lobbying efforts going on because I think this is the sort of thing that's better done uh, from senator to senator. But uh, history beckons all of us. Uh, this is also the right thing to do. And I think Secretary Gates' appeal today to do it uh, hopefully will be heard by not just Democrats, by Republicans as well, who, of course, style themselves with, for, for good reason as the defenders of the country and strong on national defense. And that's really what this is about. You know what really moved me in the hearings? And I I know you've attended some of them, was when you asked all of those service members, NCOs, enlisted personnel officers who'd been discharged under Don't Ask, Don't Tell, what they would do if it was repealed, they all said they would re-enlist or they would, they would ask for their commission to be reinstated. Is there anything more patriotic or is there anything that underlines more the, the, the opportunity here to repeal an outdated uh, law that doesn't serve us well. One last question for you on this briefly, Senator. Yeah. Uh, Secretary Gates and, and Admiral Mullen both emphasized over and over today the importance of Congress handling this so the courts don't do it. Do you see yes. that as, a, as critically important as those two military leaders said it is? It's crucial. I think you're a lawyer. I'm not. But we both know, having worked with the law for a long time, that uh, j uh, judges in the law sometimes takes a twisted and windy road to getting to the point where you need to arrive. And clearly we want to arrive at this point very quickly. And that's again why the Secretary of Defense and the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs are saying repeal the law clearly so we then can go to our enlisted and, uh, personnel, our officers, the leaders in the military, begin to implement this change that for, uh, two years ago the President called for. And clearly in the hearings we've had, the Secretary of uh, Defense and the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs said it's not a matter, matter of weather, it's a matter of how we're going to do this. They want to get to work, they want to enhance our national security, they want to let patriotic Americans, whether gay or straight, serve in in our military. Senator Mark Udall, Democrat of Colorado, thank you so much for joining us, sir. Really appreciate it. Hey, thanks a lot, Rachel. I should note for the record that I am not a lawyer, um, but I am very happy to be confused with one.